Welcome to this video where we will explore Cisco Network Analytics focusing on two key architectures, non-data store and data store. We will compare their components, capabilities and performance, followed by the practical lab where we will install SNA and migrate everything to the data store setup. So let's get started. Let's begin with the non-data store architecture. This is the older design with traditional components like SMC, Stealth Watch Management Console, Flow Collector, Flow Sensor, and UDP Director. We know that our Flow Collector has a key role in the solution. The Flow Collector has three primary tasks, collect, analyze, and archive. Let's talk about the collection phase. Here we gather NetFlow, IPFix, SFlow, NVM data, and FTDC log. Next, during the analysis phase, the data undergoes aggregation, normalization, analyze, stitching, and deduplication. Stitching is very important if we have NAT in our system. And finally, the flow collector archives the whole data. So there are two flavors of flow collectors, physical and virtual appliance. We know that up to 25 flow collector are supported per deployment. SMC is our core component in our solution. So we know that SMC handles integration, configuration, and it has all the monitoring tasks. For management, the SMC offers two interfaces, a web interface and a separate application. The web interface can provide access to alarm report in various formats like pie chart or linear graph. You have the option to drill down into every packet and IP in the network. You can, you can have your trigger response via ICE, SNMP trap, or email alert. Also, you can create and customize your report and policies. The SMC also features an app, it can be installed on Mac, can be installed on Windows, which offers more customized report and deeper data analysis, including advanced stitching and application visibility, which is very important in the forensic situations. Please note that the mitigation feature, such as sending a quad zero route to a router or sending a SHAN to your FTD or ASA is only possible through this app. It's not supported on the web interface. Now, additionally, we have to mention that SMC integrates uh, Cisco SNA with Cisco ICE for enhanced security and policy management. Now let's shift to the data store architecture, the modern evolution of the Cisco SNA. In this setup, we introduce a new component called data store. With the data store architecture, the flow collector no longer archive data. An archiving task will be delegated to data store. By not doing archive, now each VFC can support 102,000 flows per second and over 250,000 hosts. The data store can be deployed as a single node or as a cluster of three nodes, and it can scale even higher, available as both a physical and virtual appliance. It offers long-term telemetry storage with significant improvement in resiliency and performance, shrinking processing time from days to hours and hours to minute. A single data store, but I mean, single data store cluster can monitor over 3 million flows per second with a maximum deployment of 12 clusters, which means 36 nodes in total. This architecture vastly outperforms the non-data store setup in terms of speed and resiliency. Unlike the older architecture, everything in the data store deployment is managed through a single web interface. And which means that we don't need the application anymore. So everything through one unified interface. In the data store architecture, Cisco SAL enhanced security by integrating FTD syslog data directly to SNA. Context pivot 
to firewalls event viewer in SNA for enhanced context. Multiple flows collector support with firewall to flow collector mapping. This is very interesting feature. The last part that we want to discuss is analytics. The enhancement in our analytics. With the data store architecture, Cisco SNA enhanced analytics by integrating with the Mitre attack framework, you know, which is my favorite framework. And good news is now you can map your alert into Mitre tactics and techniques. In addition to the basic function, the data store architecture offers advanced feature like role detection. Um, for example, if a server begins acting as a domain controller, the system will automatically detect this role and apply relevant policies accordingly. Another valuable feature is the device report, which provides comprehensive historical data about a specific device, including traffic pattern and all the interactions. And finally, let's talk about the NVM network visibility module. In previous versions, only session and process data were available. With the data store architecture, you also gain access to OS, user, interface data, providing a more complete picture of your network environment. Now that we have covered the theory, let's move on to the practical part. As you can see here, we are going to install the SMC. I'm trying to be very quick, just providing the foundation data. Notice that I'm using the non-data store here. This is our first installation. So DNS, NTP, okay. Make sure it's initialized. Now let's go and install the flow collector. Most important question. Is it part of the data store? No. At this time, no. So domain network with sun.com, IP address, DNS, NTP, SMC, password for SMC, wait for initialization, now it's connected. So let's, I'm going to add the UDP destination. This is our telemetry broker. This is for my easier installation. So you can see we are receiving the flows. I'm going to download the app. Okay, providing the password. The matter is we are receiving the traffic from Netflix. Now let's start with data store node. Uh, the installation is very similar to NetFlow, so you just go and uh, provide all the uh, information like DNS, SMC password, NTP, okay, and you will see here data store not initialized. To add a new domain, first I have to go to domain properties. And here we are going to export all configuration. This is not data, this is only the configuration. Now we are going to add a domain. This domain name should be a unique one. So like my previous domain was networking with S on here, I will add DS in front of it. The select method is the configuration that we want to import, which is import from file. And then don't forget to check this mark because this is uh, technically saying that the new domain that we are creating is a data store domain. So now it will divide the system into two different domains. One is data store domain, one is non-data store domain. Okay, And on a data store domain, because there is no flow collector, it means that there is no data. So the next step is to transition the flow collector. So let's go to SMC, system config, go to data store, enable the SSH, okay. Now we are going to initialization. All the passwords. Now we are starting our procedure. Okay, let's go back to GUI. Okay, now DS is in a connected state. Okay. But still, we are not receiving anything from Flow Collector because Flow Collector is sending to non-data store domain. So let's go back to SMC, go to data store mode, 
enable SSH, now to transition. And we are going to transit our flow collector from the non-data store into data store mode. Now, the flow collector needs reboot. So let's wait. And let me go back to my GUI after the reboot. Now I, I see a new tag, data store transition. Okay. Now my flow collector is sending the data into data store domain. And my data store database is the status, the status of the database is up. Now I'm going to my non data store domain. Okay. See, the traffic is not coming. And I can show you by flow search. And I will search for the last five minutes. Let's search. And yes, we are not receiving anything because our flow collector are not sending any. Um, NetFlow into SMC, but but we have our data. I checked, I searched right now for the last hour and I can see all the data. Okay, now from the top menu, I'm going to data store domain. Now I'm checking for the last five minutes. See, the traffic is coming. So flow collector now is trying to send the data here. From now on, the data is sending to uh, data store domain, but still we need um, non-data store domain for our previous data. Okay. So this is the traffic that are coming in the last five minutes. Our next step is domain synchronization here. We are going to synchronize host group management, alarm severity, policy management, service application, exporter, SNMP profiles, and domain A's numbers. Okay, to do that, let's go to domain menu, select edit. Now we are going to choose our target domain to synchronize. Okay. DS.network with sn.com. You see this logo? And the synchronization should begin now. So my, my domain is now synchronized. Let's go back to system config. Select data store. Now transition and then transition complete. So if I do that, I will erase all the previous data. Okay. And it cannot be recovered. So make sure that you don't need your previous data and then you can make the transition complete. Okay. Now, if I come here, now the flow collector is fully merged into data stores. Now my non-data store domain um, does not have anything, no data, no flow collector. So it's a good idea if we want, if we can delete this domain. So let's go to domain property and delete domain. Okay. So I erased non data store domain and I have only one data store domain, which is ds.networkingwithsound.com. And even I can remove the DS part. So easy. <laughs> okay, now we are fully merged. Let's go to SMC console page. Okay, we are receiving the flows from NetFlow through our data store. I can search for the last five minutes and I'm receiving the data here. Okay, that was it. In this video, we covered the key difference between non-data store and data store deployment and showed you how to migrate from non-data store domain into data store domain. Okay, thank you guys. If you have any question, 
drop them in the comments or you can reach me out through uh, LinkedIn. See you in the next video. Take care.